Hey, what's up everybody? I hope everyone's having a wonderful Wednesday today. This is Top Ramen back again with a brand new Clash Royale video. Recently I've been tied up with work and been very busy so I haven't been uploading much. A lot has gone through. Um, but um, recently um, I think they're gonna have a challenge coming up which is a retro grand challenge and it's awesome because you actually get to actually try for 10 gems only to play with the retro cards which is the cards that you start off from the beginning before all the patches and I'm already excited about it because I wanted to go I was already thinking of what kind of decks I want and I'm thinking that uh, this is the deck I want to use which is the uh, giant and the hog combo as my win, win condition because you can basically bait the building that they're gonna have they don't have like the the new legendary cards that can stop them stop them and then after you bait it then you have the hog next or the giant next for a nice push but that's going to come later tonight so i just want i'm just so excited that i wanted to talk about it and i hope you guys give it a try because the first entry is free and you only have to get to six wins instead of 12 wins so they're making it a little bit easier for people that you know um you know don't play as often they play casually and also recently i also reached to my uh master league uh, five finally master two so I'm really excited you know like to just share with you guys that my my journey to get there my clan leader Stanis is also up there as well so we're trying to make that push to 5600 unfortunately everyone that would play up there are level 13 and they all have max cards whereas our commons here are typically maxed out but um, um let me see by rarity almost maxed out but we don't have to go for it so we're trying to you know work our way up and try to beat those guys with the maxed out level 11 rares and level 7 epics and whatnot uh, I also got a super magical chest which is I want to share with you guys open it at the end of the video today But uh, I wanted to jump into some grand challenges that on the deck that I've been testing out And I've been wanting to use the lumberjack because it is a legendary that's least used And it is a very viable card um, This deck is a deck that I actually got from a YouTuber Pong If you guys um, you know, like to watch YouTube definitely follow him uh, Search him on Pong TV He's a great player, unfortunately he only speaks Korean, so I'm unable to understand what he's explaining. Some of his videos, new videos uploaded, does have subtitles, so give it, give this deck a shot, because I actually just tried it once. Uh, I did get one loss already, because I actually was, I used the wrong deck, and I used the retro deck in my grand challenge, and so I got one, but I'm actually one zip right now. Oh, here's a donate card here. Alright, so let's just jump right into battle, um, and see how I do with this. I'm trying to figure out the deck strategy myself. Uh, Pong is a very smart player. He knows the card cycle. He knows deck predictions, and I'm gonna try to do that as well. All right, so we're matching up with Zircolin. All right, good luck. So right here we start with the lumberjack. I'm gonna actually throw a lumberjack to suicide. See what he does. Skeletons. All right, so he got a mini Pekka. All right, not bad. I'm not gonna log that. So you can see the Lumberjack gets two hits before the Mini, uh, mini Pekka gets one swing. Alright, jump with the... Uh... Alright, so right here... Okay, he miners. So he has a Mini Pekka miner. I think he has a Hog as well and Freeze. It's a Freeze deck. Alright, so right here I'm going to support. Alright, cool. So he, he throws a uh, Witch in the back. He's going to be lower in the Elixir. Oh no! Fortunately, he has enough for a Valkyrie. So that means my Prince is going to die to that. Alright, so he doesn't have a hog. His mini Pekka, which oh giant, so he's a beatdown deck. Okay, not bad, not bad. Right here we can play uh, the skeletons, drop the e wiz to shock away the skeletons and distract the witch from taking out our skellies. And then those skeletons are gonna do some nice work against the uh, giant. So he's gonna get what three punches, four punches. Ouch, more than I wanted. Right here I'm gonna do a hog push. Right now you don't have to do a piggy push no more because there's no more. Um, uh, true blue, true red. Okay, so now I know he has Infernal Tower. So, okay. Okay, so I'm going to play Princess the other lane. And then Skeleton to Distract. I'm going to use a Lumberjack. Oh, please don't swing on my Lumberjack. Alright, cool. Um, he's going to die. Alright, cool. So he's going to die to the Valkyrie. I was going to throw um, my Hog into the Rage Potion. Because he's going to run past the Valkyrie. But actually, I'm going to hold off. I think he has the uh, Infernal Tower back in sight. Oh, alright, so he used the um, um, Witch. So I know he's behind on Elixir, so I can send my Hog in for some nice damage there. Throw my Princess to uh, take out the Witch. I don't mind taking some damage on my Healthy Tower there. And I'm gonna actually Psycho. And right here, I know he has a uh, uh, Infernal Tower this time, so he's gonna 
Alright, so he's gonna play the mini P.E.K.K.A. There's the, there's the Infernal Tower. But this time, I got a Raged Hog with some Skeletons jumping in. So he's gonna do some sick damage there. That's the amazing part about the Hog and the uh, Lumberjack. Alright, here he's gonna... I'm gonna use Skeletons to stop the uh, Wizard. I'm gonna use Princess to defend against the uh, Witch. And right here, I'm gonna let the, the Lumberjack run in. I have to, to zap her on the, the right side to zap the Inferno Tower if he drops it, but he doesn't. So, alright, so he's gonna die, he's gonna drop the uh, Rage Potion. <laughs> now you're gonna see the Hog do some work. Oh, but he dropped the Mini Pekka, it's okay. We have two Princesses um, sniping away, just gonna drop a Lumberjack. So this deck is pretty sick, uh, Palm plays it really well. He actually climbed to top 10 global, uh, if, you to, if you look on your list on there. And uh, he's still not even trying, he's like, you know, coming up with decks like this and uh, <clears throat> just making it look easy. So I'm trying to learn his style too, and uh, so far it's working. So I'm 2-0, uh, if I didn't pick the wrong deck, I definitely could have got 3-0 uh, probably. But uh, let's keep going. Yeah, so the hog is your win condition, lumberjack is a win condition, they're perfect, they complement each other. Alright, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna psycho out the skellies. Okay, so he has a barrel, so I'm gonna log. Alright, now that the skellies, and I have my uh, hog next, I'm gonna actually drop the lumberjack, hog, and um, ice spirit. Jump in! Alright, cool. So my lumberjack is still tanking the other tower, he's gonna die. I think my hog's gonna get one swing. Oh, almost. Almost. So it's even trade off. Alright, so I'm gonna use skeletons. And I'm gonna use a log. Oh, way too early. Way too early. So I think that's gonna cost me some damage there. I should have uh, waited a little bit longer. I don't think he has the uh, cannon back in Psycho. And he's gonna have to deal with the princess. So I'm gonna use the hog. Oh, he does have it. Alright, cool. So let's get rid of the cannon. Okay, so he has a musketeer. I think then once it's double elixir time, I'm gonna use the uh, the hog push with the lightning to take out the cannon. But right now, it's gonna psycho and chip away. All right, cool. Save it. Yes. Oh, uh, now I'm vulnerable to a uh, goblin barrel, so I'm actually gonna. All right, cool. Where is that cannon? There it is. Alright. So I'm just gonna take that cannon out a little bit. This is my opportunity to lightning actually. I do want a lightning. Alright. And then he's gonna send a barrel now. Alright. Throw this. Oh, no barrel. Alright. Since he doesn't have a barrel, I'm just gonna use a ice spirit. He's got some good damage there. I still have a wizard too to um, defend against the barrel if he launches it. So right here I'm going to throw my big push and this time I'm ready for his uh, cannon and musketeer. So I'm going to have a raged hog and then that musketeer is going to die. It's going to get two hits. Alright, cool. I'm going to actually log this away. No, I actually don't want to log. I'm going to use a princess. Right here I'm going to use... I'm going to use... Uh, oh, he's going to send it far back. I'm going to wait for it. There you go. Now I can log. Alright, cool. So that uh, right tower is going to die to my lightning so I'm just going to wait. Alright, so... Here we go. I'm gonna go hog, and then I'm gonna lightning, and he's gonna run straight to the tower. There you go. All right, lumberjack to take out this, but the tower's gonna die. Uh, but it's okay. I still have the lumberjack to form a nice counter push. Um, all right, so with the rage and all that, and I have a princess sniping too, so this looks good. So I'm gonna just snipe away that uh Alright, so I have a counter push lemon jet coming. Uh, it's a far log down right. Alright, cool. So we have a good push coming, but we're gonna now counter push because I have a lumberjack on the on that side coming, so yeah. So he's gonna I'm gonna send another lumberjack because he's gonna rage the other lumberjack that's gonna die. And then alright, he's gonna log. Alright, so I'm gonna actually have another rage, so I'm gonna send a hog that he's gonna go straight to the tower and he's gonna be ultra speed and then now he's gonna get some swings off. 
it's amazing. This deck is so amazing. Alright, of course gonna have to get ready for the counter push again. Uh, send uh, Princess in the back. These Skelly's gonna do work on that. Alright, and I'm gonna zap away so he can't get some free hits. Now I have a nice hog push coming. And I'm gonna lightning. Alright, so he's gonna die. I'm gonna lightning. Oh, I, oh since he pulled the uh, cannon far back, I was able to... Um, oh look! Yeah, nice! I was gonna, I was all focused on the left tower, but I was gonna I was able to uh, uh, pig jump and then dodge the uh, cannon because he thought I was gonna place a center hog. So you you can also play mind games too. This deck is so amazing. All right, let's do another one. Let's keep it going. So it could have been four zero, but oh well. Who knows? Maybe I would have lost my first match. Okay, so lumberjack, ice spirit. I'm gonna cycle out my skeletons in the back. All right, so he has. A tombstone. Cycle this out as well, and then use my princess to uh, start sniping away on the uh, tombstone. When he plays tombstone, it tells me on uh, arrows. It tells me that he has more of like a lava hound deck. I'm gonna place my. Ooh, okay. So right here, I need to place my lecturers, and then play my ice spirit. All right, cool. I'm gonna log out this. You can get rid of this tombstone. Alright, and now I'm play sped up hog. Jump in, go, go, go. Yeah, Tombstone can't catch it. Oh, it can't catch it. Alright, that's okay. He had to play uh, 6 elixir to stop my um, 4 elixir push. Still behind, but I think we'll be okay. I'm not gonna let him kill my princess, so I'm gonna distract. <clears throat> Ooh, he missed my princess. Awesome, I think I could protect him now. So I'm actually going to throw a uh, Ice Spirit as well as, oh nice, my Lumberjack. Sweet. And this is going to be from my Electro Wiz right here. Bam! And he's going to be turboed. Go Electro Wiz! Ha! Oh no. Alright, cool. He got rid of the uh, um, Tombstone, which is uh, the distraction for my Hog. So I'm going to send my Hog in right away. Uh, what kind of land units does he have? I don't think he has much. Yeah, he has only uh, the Mega Minion, so that's good. I'm going to get two hits off. Alright, that's enough. Alright, right here I'm going to use my Princess, Ice Spirit. I don't mind taking uh, damage on my right tower from the healthy one, so I'm just going to let it happen. Oh, no. Alright. That's okay. This time I know he has a Tombstone, so I'm going to go ahead and... Lumberjack Hog, and then Tombstone right over here. Okay, cool. And then we're... The princess. He's gonna be sped up. One hit? Alright, cool. One hit's good. I'm gonna save Electro Wiz and then my uh, Ice Spirit too. Alright, cool. He used a Lava Hound, so I think he's behind now. Yeah, I think that tower is gone. And then I'm gonna also send my Hog in. I'm gonna log all that. He still has to waste Elixir too to take out my uh, left tower, so I'm not going to put it near the uh, arrow bait because he had an arrow that kept stopping me. Alright, cool. Alright, so he did stop it, um, but right here I'm able to stop this push, I believe. Alright, cool. I'm going to use my Lumberjack to distract, chip away. Oh no. Okay, that's okay. My skeletons pull the minions down. And right here, I think I can do a Lumberjack Hog Push. <clears throat> Alright, cool. He's gonna die. Oh! He has the Tombstone and everything ready. Okay. That's okay. Princess. Uh, I think, uh... Alright, I have to stop this. Yeah, I have to protect him. Alright, cool. I think that... Alright, cool. Didn't make it. So right here, I'm gonna do a... Lumberjack. Oh no, alright, cool. Oh, nice! Cool, 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 cool. Alright, so I, my Lumberjack's gonna make it. I think we're good. Alright, cool. He's gonna get a couple swings. My Princess is gonna snipe away. Uh, princess back here. Oh no. Oh no, he can't make it. Freeze. 
No! Oh, I was so close. Alright, so our last match was a loss. But um, this deck is awesome. I'm going to keep practicing with it. Um, let, if you guys have the legendaries, give it a try. Uh, if you guys don't have the log, I believe that's a good replacement. It would definitely be a zap to stop Infernal Tower along with your um, lightning. Uh, but the, yeah, it actually contains a lot of legendary, actually. Four legendaries. Um, for you, those of you guys that are still low in trophies and um, don't have much legendaries, I'm thinking of a creative deck that I can make that doesn't have much legendary other than this balloon deck that doesn't have any legendary. But this is the balloon deck that got me to my uh, Master 2 League, and uh, it's a really great deck. I'll, I'm probably going to feature this on how I would play it and what kind of meta that you play against and how to stop those meta, especially Lava Loon, um, Golem, uh, Lightning, and of course uh, the Goblin Barrel uh, Bait Chip deck. Uh, anyways, as I promised, I'm going to definitely open a super magical chest. I hope I get a legendary. Uh, let's go for it. So, got a gold. Ice Spear I don't need. No need to commons. Those I need. Those I need too? Yes, max. Uh, okay, Battle Rap I do use. Execution, 25 of those. I think I get 20. No, it's going to be epic. Oh, it's going to be Lava Hound. Okay, not bad. It is a legend. So, 25 epic was it? Yeah, so 25 epic. That means the last one will be a uh, legendary. Go ahead and I'll pop this open too for you guys. More Goblin Gangs. Alright, Dog Goblin. Hey, Goblin Barrel. I'm almost to a level 7 Goblin Barrel. That's going to be so awesome because then I can keep up with the level 13 that have the Zap it that's able to kill my Goblins. Alright, so. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you guys like the video, please hit the like button down below right there. And uh, tell your friends and families who play the game uh, to check out my video. I'm close to 100 subscribers. So definitely looking forward to coming up of how I'm going to do a $20 gift card giveaway for you guys. Whether it's iTunes or whether if it's a Google Play. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, till next time, peace.